Hey guys, so here we are in another recorded session of the quick Intel series. I'm going to be showing you how to use functions in SQL Server 2014 Report Builder. This is going to go by really fast, but it's going to be fun. Watch. Here is the Report Builder, and I'm adding a data source. I'm using the AdventureWorks Lite database for uh, 2012. And I'm establishing connectivity to it on my local server. I'm selecting the AdventureWorks 2014 or 2012 Lite database. I'm going to add a data set, and I'm going to call the data set uh, Sales Info, and I'm going to use the AdventureWorks Lite database data source that I just created. I'm opening up the Query Builder, and in the Query Builder, I'm selecting from the tables. I'm selecting the Sales Order Header table, and I'm just going to select the Total Due column as you can see and I'm going to execute the run query command so that I can see that it actually runs and gives me some data and there's my query right there I'm going to click OK to save this data set there's the total due I'm going to change the title to say using functions just so that it displays that way and I'm going to go over to insert and I'm going to insert a text box and in this text box I'm going to span it kind of like in a block form there and I'll make a little square out of it like that and I'm gonna place uh, three items in there I'm gonna place uh, one that says total sales another one that says uh, and I'm gonna grab all these items from the total due number of orders and average order amount change the font change the alignment okay, so that make it look just right here that I want make it a little bit bigger and drag and drop the total due over from data set to each of the three uh, areas and I'm going to open up the property pages and then I'm going to run this so I can see that total sales is displayed I'm going to change the sum function from sum to count for the second one okay and for the third one I'm going to just type it in I'm just going to say right inside of the text box I'm going to say equals average you'll see in a second here is equals average and I'm just going to type in the formula you know fields total due from sales info data set and when I press enter it turns into an expression and when I run this it displays me uh, the uh, total sales it displays me the number of orders and the average order amount and then it's just a matter of simply aligning them changing the uh, the data to, con uh, to currency, changing the number amount, making it look a little bit prettier, I suppose, and taking the decimal places out uh, of the number of orders so that it just displays number of orders in an exact number because we're not going to have partial orders, taking the decimal places away, and then running this. And uh, that's it. There's the total sales, number of orders, and the amount. Thank you for watching.